Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is Dave with Gen 3D Tech. Today we're taking a look at the Wise Owl OGM Pro Wireless. Now you may have never heard of this company. I know I hadn't up until recently, but hopefully after this review they'll be on your radar because they're definitely on my radar after ch testing this mouse for the last month or so. I've really enjoyed my time with it and I think you'll find this review very interesting. So without further ado, let's get into it. And first off, I'd like to thank Mekis for providing a sample for this review. As always, my opinions are my own, and I'm never influenced by the uh, products that I receive. So to get into it, this is the Wise Owl OGM Pro Wireless. It's a $99 mouse that uh, you can get on Mekis, and you can also get it from their own website. I'll have a link in the description for both locations. And this sports a 3395 sensor. A Nordic MCU, all TTC Gold switches, and a TTC Gold encoder for the scroll wheel. Weight, the manufacturer says 68 grams. Uh, we'll see on my scale, but I believe it's a little closer to 69 or 70. Then, as you can see, it's a solid shell design. Now, this shape is a bit different than any other shape that I, I have. It is similar to a lot of other mice. But in the front, typically uh, an Argo mouse kind of slants at the front. But this is very straight and blocky at the front. And then it's got a nice curve at the back. It's also a pretty tall mouse, as you can see. Dimension-wise, it's a 121 millimeters long, 66 wide at the widest point and 40 millimeters tall. In your hand, this mouse, the best way I can describe it is it feels very chonky. It's very thick feeling mouse. Very substantial. It's also, even though, like I said, it is almost 70 grams, it doesn't feel that heavy, but it's just very big feeling. Uh, in their specs, they claim that this is a, a, a medium-sized mouse, and I do have medium-sized hands, and I am able to palm this mouse, claw it, and you kind of can fingertip it, but you'd really need a really fast pad, I think, to make that work. Now, the skates, I actually like quite a bit on this mouse. They're really thick, virgin PTFE feet, and as you can see, it doesn't cover the whole bottom because you got this little space to store your dongle here. And that's held on with a magnet. Now I'm not too crazy about that because I think it's going to be easy to lose. But you could also save a gram by just taking this off and not using it at all. And as I'll show you later, there's actually a piece of PTFE that can go on this part right here to give you a full size PTFE foot on the back. Now as you can also see right here on the bottom this has uh, an off switch and then over to the right it's 2.4 gigahertz and over to the left Bluetooth. So it does support Bluetooth which is kind of nice and then it's kind of hard to see but the coating is really nice on this mouse. It's very grippy almost kind of rubbery feeling a little bit. It's definitely one of the better coated mice that I have. And one thing I can say for a Chinese mouse, which typically have a reputation of feeling cheap, this mouse does not feel cheap to you. So the specs in this are, are not low end whatsoever. Now it only does have a thousand hertz pulling rate, but for the most part, a thousand hertz pulling rate is really all you need. But it kind of would be nice if they did have a 4K version of this mouse. And maybe they will. I'm not sure. This is my first experience with Wise Owl. And since Boardsy did his review, I've noticed that their presence outside of China, like on Twitter and then having an English website, they're definitely trying to take advantage of the notoriety that they've gained so far. And I definitely encourage it because uh, I think that's a good thing when we have more competition 
mean, because that's how Lambs you started. That's how Pulsar started. And hopefully in a year or so, people will know more about these wise owl mice. Now, I don't know if they have anything else planned, but again, they just started showing up on social media and I have not actually uh, had a chance to talk with them yet. But hopefully after this review, uh, I can speak with them and maybe get a little idea of if they have any plans. Now, uh, before I go over, over the rest of the mouse, I do want to go over what you get for the, your $100. You do get this nice pouch that comes in the box. And inside you get some goodies. So you do get some nice thin grips. Now, I don't think this is needed because I, I really like the coating on the mouse. And I think for the most part, you're going to be okay without the grips. But if you do have really sweaty hands, if for some reason you do find the coating too slippery, you do have grips here that you can utilize. And then you get an extra set of PTFE feet, sensor ring, and then, as I said, you've got the piece that can go over that little door for the dongle, which covers in right there. And then, of course, you get a nice braided cable with a USB adapter with the Wise Owl name on it, and then the USB dongle itself also with the Wise Owl name on it. So it's, it's always nice when they do that so you don't mix it up with other brands. Now, as I said in the stats, the switches are all TTC gold switches, and I do enjoy the switches on this mouse. They're very uh, clicky and spammable. The scroll wheel is real quiet, and it does have some tactile feel to it. The side buttons are pretty good. Just a little bit of pre-travel. Almost no post travel. Just a tiny amount of side flex. And no button grind. Now, one of the things that kind of threw me off at the very beginning is I thought the uh, DPI button didn't work because when you push it, it doesn't switch. And so I had to go into the software to switch it. And I was like, what the heck? I can't switch it. But what, the, what it is, is you actually got to double click in order to change it, which is nice because it prevents accidental changing of the DPI because you're much less likely to double click the, uh, the DPI button in the game. But it is easy just to accidentally hit it. So that's kind of a nice solution. And I don't think I've ever seen a mouse that has that double click for the DPI button. So that's a very cool feature that I thought I'd point out. And I definitely would like to see that uh, emulated with other mice. So now let's get into the sound test. Now let's go ahead and weigh it on my scale. Now let's check out the software. All right, this is the uh, Wise Owl software. It's actually a very nice software. Almost everything's on one page. Right here, you can see the firmware version and the software version. There was a firmware update that I did run before I did all my testing. And then of course right here you can change button assignments right here. It supports five different profiles. Your DPI settings are right here. Five different steps and these are the different colors. Little macro section. A shortcut to the Windows uh, mouse settings but it's built right into the, the app which is really cool. Right here is the performance settings. You can select the uh, Pulling weight right there, and it is defaulted to 1,000 hertz. Response time, got it set to 1 millisecond. Liftoff distance, got it set to 1 millimeter. And again, as always, I don't recommend ripple or angle snapping. And 
very cool. It does have an ability to turn motion sync on and off. And then right here, you can restore factory defaults or select your uh, language. Battery level indicator down there. Again, simple software. And I do like the interface on this one right here. And that's it for the software. So now, how does this thing perform in game? Well, I think that's gonna depend on the person. For me, this mouse, while it is technically a very good mouse with good internals, really good build quality, it feels really good in the hand. For me, it's just a little bit too big for my hands. I don't even mind the weight being at 69 grams. It doesn't feel heavy to me whatsoever. And the coating is, is really good. The clicks are good. Again, it's just the shape for me. It's just a little too big. Maybe if there was a smaller version of this mouse, uh, a Wise Owl Mini, then yeah, I think I might like it a little bit more. But I do think this mouse could be for, for you if you uh, like mice that are a little bit more substantial in the hand or if you have larger hands, for example, then this mouse could be right up your alley. Uh, again, the quality of this mouse is exceptional, especially for a Chinese mouse. I mean, they are doing a really good job with this mouse, and this is a, a good representation of, of some of the companies over there that are trying really hard to step up the quality of their mice. So this is the kind of thing that I like to see, and this is exactly why I'm going around looking at all these Chinese mice where a lot of people are, are kind of ignoring them because I'm trying to find diamonds in the rough. I was very happy to see Boardsy had reviewed this mouse and I remember when he actually ordered it I already actually had the mouse in hand when he had ordered it so I've actually been hanging on to this mouse a little bit longer and testing it a little bit longer mostly just because I'm a little behind on some of my reviews but I have put a lot of time into this mouse and it definitely has grown on me over time. Uh, oh, and another thing that's really cool about this mouse is the uh, there are other colors of this. And there's a red one that has white accents. And I think that looks really nice. Now, uh, Metkey's only has the white one. And I think they only have the white one on the official website right now. But I do know there's a red one. And I think there's some other color ones too. Maybe a pink one. Don't hold me on that. But I think there might be. But that red one looks really nice. I would like to get a copy of that one for sure. Especially if I could get it in a mini version. But I, like again, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But having said that, and the shape not being best suited for me, I did still perform really well with this mouse. And this is also a very pleasurable mouse to be using for just office work. It is comfortable for that. So if you're looking for a really good office mouse, I mean, I don't suggest paying $100 for one, but... If you want one that you can do both, this is definitely a good candidate for it. And again, if you do have larger hands or you just prefer a more substantial mouse, then yes, this could be right up your alley for sure. And then I, I definitely would recommend it then. Now, is this one of the top mice that I have? No, but it is very, very close. And, and most of that is due just me personally being just not the right size for me and fit. But certainly, if this shape appeals to you, and the size appeals to you, then it could be an in-game mouse for you, possibly. One other thing, too, that I, I wanted to mention, too, is these skates and this mouse works really well on the Pulsar glass pad that I have. So if you like using glass pads, this is a really good mouse for that. And it makes it feel even lighter on there. Like, I really don't notice the weight on the Pulsar pad. But even on this, like, cloth pad right here it feels nice and smooth really nice skates I don't think you're gonna need any third-party skates and like I said you get an extra pair in the box so I think you're good to go for the life of this mouse most likely so all in all I, I do agree with Boardsy that this is not one of the top mice but it is exceptionally close and if you do like the shape if it looks interesting and you want some really good internals good build quality, good coating, I mean really good coating, then yeah, definitely uh, recommend picking up this mouse. And I'm very excited to see what the future holds for Wise Owl. If this is a sign of things to come, then I think there's lots of good things coming our way from these guys. So 
definitely be on the watch out for what they have planned for the future. And hopefully it's something good. So anyways, that's all I got for this review. Hopefully you found it enjoyable and informative. If you did, please smash the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. If not, no big deal. Anyways, that's it. And I'll see you on the next one. Later.